Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday and uh, we're on a little hike today. The first bit, it was really, really steep, which is why my face is so bright right right now because we've just gone up, I think it's like 300 meters elevation in a really short distance, so it's pretty steep the first bit. Basically from down there, we parked our car in that town over there and now we've come there and then up this side. And of course, Odin is here. He's accompanying us on this little walk. We're on just a beautiful walk here, coming from over here. He loves the tall grass. <laughs> He's so cute. So pretty here. It's like idyllic. I would have never found this place. I mean, I find all these roots on the internet. There's a bunch of alpacas just staring at us. Oh my god, they're so cute. Hi. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Poodles with long necks. <laughs> Look at that beautiful vista that we're now rewarded with. View over the Alps. Hopefully you guys can see it. Found a really friendly cow. Hi. Hi, cow. Oh. Sweet cow. Hi. Hi, sweet cow. We just came down from this trail and we just were rewarded with the most beautiful view. Look at this, it's so splendid. <laughs> splendid. So pretty. We're sitting on a bench right now, the most gorgeous view. Somebody's shooting. <laughs> That's really pretty here. We're in this beautiful idyllic forest. I mean, this looks like something out of Lord of the Rings or something. I can just feel like the Black Riders coming along here. <laughs> he was quite dirty um, from the walk. And so when he got back, I put him in the bathtub and rinsed off his feet because they were very muddy. Want another bath? You want to get in the bath with me? <laughs> you want a lush bath? I'm going to see what kind of bath I want to have because there's actually a lot of stuff in here that I like really need to use up. I have to use this. <gasps> I haven't even used this. I have to use this up. This is, yeah, you want some? <laughs> um, this is a Halloween thing. Is this like, the thing is, I don't know if this is a bubble bath. I think this might be actually a bubble bath. All set up, I've got my laptop here. I'm gonna watch um, some Happy Valley on Netflix. I got my towel and I got some snacks and can't wait to get in this tub. Another little chunk for the vlog. So I'm just on a walk right now with Odin. These leaves, he loves leaves. He's like, look, I can just go, wee! Go get them, yeah! Woo! Kicking up the leaves, woo! <laughs> you crazy dog. Odin. <laughs> he just loves the leaves. Yeah, go get them. <laughs> oh yes, attack the bush. See, I would rather have him attacking bushes in the forest than attacking my sofa at home. So I have this new treat for him, which he loves because he wasn't responding very well, like, cause we're trying to train him for different things. So he wasn't really responding that well to the treats that I had. Geflügelcreme, which is basically kind of like a liverwurst made out of chicken. And he loves this like a tiny bit. I just squeeze a little bit of the tube and he just licks it off. Odin, sit. Good boy. Yeah, lick it. He licks the front. Some of you guys have actually asked why I call him Odin and not Odin. Odin is the English version and Odin is just the German version. Some people have asked if he's like bilingual. So all his like commands like sit and all that stuff, they're all in German. Just because my husband, like I don't, I don't know, it's more natural for my husband to say them in German than in English. We live in a German speaking country so it wouldn't, it wouldn't really make sense to call him by the English version of his name and like make all his commands in English. It just doesn't make any sense. Look at this. This is crazy. Look at those mushrooms. They're huge and weird. Good morning, everyone. I am just making myself some tea and I just wanted to give a little tea recommendation. I've been really loving this one by Twinings. Rose Garden Black Tea. Now, I basically only drink loose leaf. I don't really go for tea bags, but these are those special tea bags, which are like nylon or whatever they are. And it's basically black tea. And as you can see, there's little rose petals in it those pink things there's like rose petals so i absolutely have been loving this is that my last one yeah that was like my last bag so i have to go 
get some more. So I wanted to just check in with you guys. I have been really quiet on social media. I haven't really posted anything and stuff. Literally, I have been doing admin the last few days, just catching up on things that I haven't been able to catch up on. Um, I have a few really cool uh, things coming up this month and next month. I'm doing like an in-store appearance in uh, Bern, which is really cool, at the Globos in Bern. So I've been... Um, doing some business stuff for that. In November, I'm actually gonna be speaking at a conference. Um, I'm gonna be doing a keynote speech at this conference that's all about social influencers and influencer marketing. So that's pretty huge. Um, so I have to like basically prepare a speech for that. I mean, it's not until November, so I still have some time, but I've already kind of started thinking about what I wanna talk about. I don't know, it's so weird because I know it's October and I just don't feel at all like in the Halloween spirit this year. I don't know what it is. I used to get really excited about it, but this year I'm just like not excited about it. Like I haven't, I know people um, on YouTube are starting to do Halloween tutorials and I don't think I've clicked on a single one. I'm just not interested this year. I want to be excited for it. I want to do tutorials. It doesn't feel good when you have to like force yourself to do videos about something that you have no interest in at the moment. So I don't know what it is. I think it's just because it's like, I live in a country that where there's absolutely no Halloween spirit. Even in the stores here, there's no Halloween decor. Maybe you'll find like one or two things, but that's it. Like Halloween just isn't a big thing here. When I ever film the vlog, it's when I have free time and when I'm doing something like fun. But the reality is that sometimes it's just me sitting at my desk. It's not just all fun and opening boxes and like, you know, all that stuff. It's, it's a lot of just boring work. So I'm having one of those boring work days. Once I'm done what I have to do now, I wanna do a speed walk at this place that is very, very steep. I used to do runs there. I think that's where I challenged myself to like beat the fastest time. You had a poopy bottom, baby. You had a poopy bottom. So I had to wash your bum bum. Yeah, I had to wash your bum bum because you were so smelly and stinky. You had poo all over yourself. I know, you're bored. Bored, 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 bored. We're here at my running spot and I haven't done this run in so long because, uh, because of Odin, actually, because when he was a puppy, it was way too strenuous for him. But now he'll be able to keep up. I'm not gonna run, I'm just gonna walk fast but this is the one that's like very, very steep, so it'll be great. I'm wearing a ridiculous headband because my hair is now like a little bit too short to put in a ponytail. Oh, it's really steep, oh my God. It's the coolest lighting. <laughs> Trying to power up these hills, they're really steep and uh, getting a really good workout. And Odin is having a good workout too. Yeah, he was really good today. Spent most of the day sleeping, a little bit playing with his toys, sleeping again. So now he's ready for action. You guys, it's so pretty. Look at the lighting. It's like perfect. Look at this. Wow. It's like late afternoon. It's like 4, 4.45 or something like that. If autumn is not the most beautiful thing. I don't know what is. What is? Come here. Sha. Whoosh. Come, do it too. Good boy, good boy, come. Good boy, good boy. Yes, Soupy, get a treat for that. Oh, the poodles love agility. It's like beginner's guide to agility. So gorgeous. Oh my God, fall. I wish it were always fall. <laughs> Although if it were always fall, it wouldn't be so special. It's so pretty. It's like the perfect temperature. I wish you guys could like be here. I hope that wherever you guys live that you can enjoy. Oh, look, deer. There was just a wild deer. I don't know if you guys saw it in camera, but there was just a wild deer that ran through on that field. Oh, you guys, it's so beautiful. And they have forecast the most gorgeous weather also in the next few days. Like it's supposed to be just pure sunshine. Fall is seriously my favorite season because of this, you know, going outside, especially now, now having a dog. It's like, you know, it sounds silly, but it's something I've always like dreamed of doing. It's like, oh, I, went, I wonder what it's gonna be like, you know, going on these walks with a dog. It really is so much more fun. I do like being on my own, doing this stuff. Like, it's actually one of the reasons why I started running and going to these forest trails is that it's like away from people, it's away from noise, it's away from technology. Well, I say this as I have a camera, but it's like, it's away from all that stuff. Can it get any more beautiful? So we've reached the top of this walk. Really beautiful view down into the valley. So, so beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I 
Hi. Odin was trying to get into the water anywhere. He was like, can I go down here? Can I go down here? Can I go down here? <laughs> now it's his reward at the end. This waterfall is so beautiful. We just came off this trail down here. Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, he can get up again. I wouldn't throw it down there if I didn't see him jump up. You got the leaf! Good job! Go! <laughs> oh my god, you guys, poodles are just the most fun dogs. They're like big clowns. And we're back to the beautiful walkway. Oh, it's just so stunning. So look at you, you're so beautiful. Oh, you want to go back in? <laughs> You could just honestly be there all day. I'm preparing dinner right now. So I have some chopped scallions here because um, I just went grocery shopping. So I got some fresh stuff. Spinach, baby spinach leaves and lamb's lettuce, which is my favorite. We have some tomatoes. We have some avocados. And then we're going to throw a couple things on the grill. All right. So a couple orders arrived. I ordered some stuff from Zara and from Manoa. Manoa is like a department store here in Switzerland. What's inside? <laughs> he was so excited. So the Hunter rain boots, you guys remember in my last vlog, um, I showed you guys that I got some rain boots from Hunter. Well, I ended up sending those back. <laughs> no, no, no eating the box. I would rather just buy something once. Like if I know it's something that I'm gonna be using for years and years, I would rather just buy something with good quality from the get-go and not have to replace it all the time than like buying something cheap that's gonna break and then I have to like end up replacing it. I had those boots from Hunter and I bought those off ASOS so it was a reputable site it wasn't like fake or something off eBay. They were not freaking waterproof and I was so pissed off because you know I already always heard from people oh my god Hunter rain boots are the best. They were crap oh my god. They were so flimsy, they were just really thin. When I would step like into a muddy puddle or I stepped directly into a creek because I go with him to the creek and I throw like a frisbee for him and stuff. I can actually feel water welling in and I've sent them back to ASOS and like they had better freaking refund me my money because they're so expensive. So I sent them all back. So I did like a bunch of research online and actually a few of you recommended that I check out the boots by Aigle. So Aigle, it's a French brand. Oh, and Hunter Boots, I found out. So Hunter Boots, it's like a traditional UK brand. They used to be made in Scotland and they are no longer making those boots in Scotland and they're now made in fucking China. I didn't know that. If I had known from the get-go that these boots were made in China, I would just would not have ordered them because I'm just never satisfied with quality, like quality stuff that's made in China. No, I'm sorry, like, you know, I have nothing against China, I have nothing against Chinese people, whatever, but just the quality of the stuff that I buy, like made in China, I'm just never satisfied with it. So Eagle are another sort of traditional, very traditional brand, and they're made in France, not in China. So this exact model that I wanted was a little bit hard to find, and I found them um, on Mano. They're fairly expensive, I will, I will admit, they're pretty expensive. Fabrication à la main en France, so it means handmade in France. So these shoes are seriously handmade. I never thought I would spend this much money on a freaking rain boot, but once you get a dog, you realize how freaking necessary these shoes are, and I'm going to get a ton of use out of them, and hopefully they will last me for years and years. Oh my god. These feel like on first feel these feel so much sturdier than the hunter boots i can actually not believe it they feel so much better so they're also made with real rubber so yeah that's the price they're like i said quite expensive so the parkour 2 vario boot or vario so this was something that i thought was really cool if you wear like you know sometimes you have like bulkier pants on you can adjust the width of the calf here so you see it like stretches out but the inside is still rubber so it's still like going to be waterproof. So I thought that was just so genius. So you can like tuck your pants into the boot. Oh my God, these feel like a million times better than the Hunter boots. I actually can't believe it. They just feel so much sturdier. Oh my God, you guys, what a freaking difference from the Hunter boots. It's like night and day. Honestly, I am so glad I sent back my Hunters. These are Fantastic, so comfortable. Eagle is where it's at if you're into dog walking. I'm so glad, thank you to everyone who recommended this brand to me because I'd never heard of it. Like I've never really been in the market for a rain boot until I got a dog. All right, so from Zara, I ordered 
of course, a couple scarves. I am a big scarf junkie. I will try and see if I can find these on the website and link them for you. This is from the new collection. So this is one of their long scarves and I just absolutely, I have to be careful because Odin seems very interested in this thing. No, it's my scarf. So this is the scarf. I just absolutely love this color. It's like a fuchsia because I, I love color in winter. I'm not sure about this one. This one is multicolored. It's kind of like a plaid, like a bright plaid. It's not square. I guess I didn't read the description properly. I thought this was like a square thing, but it's rectangle, like a long rectangle. I don't know about this. And that's the thing, if I'm like not sure I'm gonna wear it, then I'd rather just send it back rather than keeping it and then it's sitting in my closet and just never being used. Like I find just so wasteful. Honestly, I think this one's going back. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not crazy about this. This looks so much nicer online. <laughs> this um, hoodie. I find Zara very small. Like it's, an, it's a Spanish retailer. But with Zara, I usually have to go a size up because usually I go for medium, but in this one I had to go for a large. Yeah. This is why I don't shop at Zara. Look at how freaking short these sleeves are. This is like, ugh, this is what I'm talking about. That's the thing with Zara, this stuff is just not made for tall women. It's like so bulky here and then like the sleeves are so short. This is ridiculous. I mean, if I'm stretching out my arm and it's just too short. I like these, I mean, I got it because I really like these big white bands, but then I'm also thinking like, if you wash it with the dark stuff, like these are gonna get totally discolored. They're gonna be like gray. This is why I usually do not shop at Zara because everything is like, looks like it shrunk on me. Like the pants will be too short. The sleeves will be too short. <laughs> like what? It's so stupid. All right, so the other stuff that I bought in here are like leggings because honestly that is what I wear 90% of the time in the fall. Yeah, and then these are just like black ones that are just staples. So I got those in, again in different sizes and those are like a few different styles. I just uh, quickly put on the first pair of leggings from Zara. I absolutely love these. They're again, a little bit short on me, but you know, they'll be totally fine because I'll be wearing boots with those anyways. All right, so I've made my decisions. I'm keeping the scarf from Zara. I'm of course keeping the eagle boots and then I'm keeping only two of the leggings from Zara, just black. Um, they have some zippers on the front like they have a zipper detail and then I'm keeping these ones too You know, it's kind of like a timeless pattern. It's not some crazy print That's the thing I try to think now when I buy things I think long term like am I gonna wear this next winter and the winter after I've stopped buying Clothes that are just like crazy trendy weird things that I know after one season I'm gonna be sick of them. So I don't buy things like that anymore. It is 1130 and I'm making brunch so I've got three eggs, I've got an avocado in there, and then I have shopsiga, which I grated on top. Now shopsiga is a pretty unique cheese that comes from Switzerland. All right guys, so I am with Odin back there. He looks so cute when he's looking over the seat. We're on our way to go for a walk because I wanna take him on a really long walk now because in the evening I need to drive to Bern for a meeting uh, because we're doing like an influencer night there in Bern at the Globus, which is really fun. So I hope you guys will come to that. They invited like five influencers. I hate being called an influencer, but I guess that's like the term now. You know, I don't really see myself as an influencer. I see myself just a person who makes YouTube videos and like has a following, but I just, I don't know. I just don't like that term influencer. It means like I'm influencing you guys to like buy stuff and it's just, ugh. Yeah, there is this cool event happening in Bern at the Globus, which of course you guys can all come and I really hope you guys do come. So I'm gonna be in the beauty department area and I think I'm gonna be doing like makeovers or something. We're gonna be discussing that today in the meeting. And I've got my new Eagle boots on because I want to test drive them and there's a creek here that you can go in, so. <laughs> Such a cutie you are. You're so cute. We have reached the creek, Odin's favorite spot, and I can test out my boots. As of right now, I'm super happy with them. There's absolutely no water getting in. What I felt with the hunters is as soon as I stepped in the water, there was a seam on the hunter boots, like right there. Why on earth would you put a seam right there on waterproof boots? Like that seems ridiculous. And so when I stepped in the water, I felt water 
I actually felt it welling in. And then when I took my boots off, my socks were wet. These are awesome. And honestly, these have a much better grip. Like when I'm walking with them, I just feel like they're so much more comfortable. And now I can actually wade in this creek with my doggy, which is exactly what I wanted to do. It's so beautiful here. This is always his favorite part. He loves to go in the water. What you got, a leaf? What do you, should we cross the river? Let's cross the river. Oh, let's come here. Yeah, it's not so deep. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, careful there. It gets very deep. <laughs> this is where we are. So there's this little side trail that I took once. I don't know what this is. This reminds me a little bit of like Blair Witch Project or something. I think this might be one of those like outdoor or used to be one of those like outdoor kindergartens. They have those here where kids like go out and play in the forest, which is honestly, I think so awesome. And here, there's a swing and I can go on the swing. Wee! <laughs> he lost it. Careful. <laughs> he just goes crazy when I'm on the swing. <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> He's such a funny, funny dog. Good boy. <laughs> I'm just so excited when I'm swinging. I don't know why. Wee! <laughs> It'd be so boring alone. It's much more fun with a dog. So this is um, a new part of that walk that I found. I mean, it's it's the same route, but I never went down this path down here. He is having a blast and my boots are awesome in this kind of terrain. <laughs> and this is exactly why I bought those boots because I wanted to be able to do stuff like this with him. Uh-oh, there it's deep. There it's deep. <laughs> so fun to just like go walking up the freaking creek bed instead of following the paths. Honestly, it's much more fun. Got cleaned up, I did my hair, I actually put on makeup, put on a nice outfit. So I'm driving to burn out to my business meeting. I mean, it's a really big department store, so I'll be meeting with the store manager, that's cool. And we're gonna discuss what we're gonna do for the influencer night. I left really early, I left at four. Our meeting is not until five. It doesn't usually take me an hour to drive there, but I'm just calculating for traffic. You know, it's gonna be end of the day, maybe rush hour starting at some point. So I just wanna make sure that I'm on time. I have not been in the city center of Bern in so freaking long. So I used to work there. So I used to go there like, I mean, I used to be there in Bern every single day. I mean, I've been in Bern, but I haven't been like in the city center where all the shops are in so long. Like, I don't really go shopping anymore. I mean, I shop, but I shop online. I don't really go and check out what's in the stores. Although I have to say, like, the stores are actually beautiful. Like, sometimes maybe, you know, just before Christmas season or something, it's nice to kind of see all the decorations. This influencer night should be really good because they're actually doing something fun for it and there's gonna be different people there and I don't know, I think it'll be really cool. Odin's at home now alone. That's why I went on that really long walk with him so that he's tired so he'll probably, he'll probably just sleep at home now until my husband gets home. Like I'm leaving now at four but my husband will get probably get home at around 5.30 so he's only gonna be home alone for like an hour and a half or something. Oh, and some of you guys might be asking like if I crate him. I don't crate him, he'll be tired now so there's really small chance that he's gonna be destroying the house or anything. That's why I went on that super long walk with him. Like I closed all the doors to the rooms. You know, I kind of cleaned up the area so there's nothing really there that he can like get into. It's good for him too. He needs to learn how to, he needs to start learning how to be alone because you know, there's gonna be occasions where I will want to go somewhere. You know, I can't always find a babysitter so he has to learn how to be on his own. All right, so I just had my meeting. It was very successful. We planned out what we're gonna be doing. And look, there's a sign and my name is on it right here. Very cool, so I'm very excited about this. It's gonna be on 26th of October from 6 to 9 p.m. I'm gonna be here at the Globus in Bern. I'll have more information on my main channel. Makeovers, meet and greet, and all that kind of stuff at the Globus in Bern, downstairs in the makeup and perfume area. I'm on here. 
So I hope you guys come on October 26th. All right, so I just got out of my meeting at Globo, so it was really good. I can't wait for the actual event. So I hope a lot of you guys show up. I'll have a lot more information on my main channel coming soon. So I am just walking a little bit through Bern. I saw there's a couple new stores. Like I haven't been here in a while. There's a Zara home here. So I'm gonna go check that out. I'm famished, so I'm gonna go to my favorite veg restaurant here in Bern. It's called Tibbets. All right, so here's Tibbets. Basically, you grab a plate and it's a buffet, so you just take whatever you want. Yummy. Yummy. All right, I am back at home. I went by Springli, which is a famous Swiss chocolate here that exists since 1836, can you believe it? They make the, ama the most amazing thing called Luxembourgerly. So they're the Swiss version of macaron. Macaron is the French version. They're much smaller than macaron, but I think honestly, they're super tasty. I really, really love these. So I got them in a few different flavors. These are salted caramel, cause that's my, that's my favorite flavor. I think this one is mandarin. This one is black forest. I know one is vanilla, one is hazelnut, and I'm not quite sure what the third one is. Oh, cinnamon, that's the other one. So those are the ones I got as a special treat and I think I have to try the caramel fleur de sel, so the salted caramel. Oh my God, they're so good. They're so cute too. Give me one. <laughs> that's it for another week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so so much for subscribing to this channel hit the thumbs up button if you want to see more vlogs you can check out my life in switzerland i think it's called playlist there's lots more vlogs in there and i'll see you very soon bye everyone